And I want to say to you tonight that in my view, geospatial is the next big wave. We have for so long known about information about what it is and why it occurred and how much it generated or what it cost, but where it actually occurred in relation to all of the other things has often been just some numbers on an Excel spreadsheet. And in future, that geospatial information being graphically represented, where you can sit with maps, throw lassoes around suburbs, look at uh, various things about the uh, cohort that live within it, or go and do just about anything. I, but I promise you that geospatial will be bigger than anything, bigger than anything you have ever believed could happen over the years as people capture the second and third layer benefits that can come from having the underpinning data available. And so that's why the government plays an important role. That's why I can give you a commitment. The second of the priorities agreed uh, with the Prime Minister between the Land Information Portfolio and the Prime Minister was to implement the New Zealand Geospatial Strategy, delivering accessible, available, shareable and user, usable geospatial information and infrastructure to all New Zealanders. And I, I can promise you that across government departments, that is where the direction is going to go, that is where the drive is going to go, because we think government departments should make a lot of this stuff, particularly public domain stuff, free, so that a lot of data can be used to develop new systems and new services. So I, um, I just uh, want to say a very brief thank you to everybody involved in the report. It, it's a spectacular uh, base from which we can now build. And I give you my commitment that if there's anything over the history of my time in technology, this is by far the next and the biggest wave that will yet flow over us. Thank you very much.